Good morning, everyone, and happy 4th of July. Today is the 5th, but yesterday we celebrated Independence Day in our country. Um, you know, interestingly enough, it just happens that I have been reading the book Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow lately. Uh, it's a long book, and I've been kind of plotting through it. It's the book that the musical Hamilton is based on. But it's really incredible for me to be just engulfed in all of this information about how our nation was born and about the sacrifices and the things people did and about really honestly how divided the nation was back then and how even aside from signing the Declaration of Independence, it still took a number of years before they were able to actually create a constitution everybody could agree on and they, could, they worked so hard to bring different factions and different sides together to build this country so that it could be born as the United States of America. The sacrifices that were made, the difficulties that were overcome were incredible. It's almost like a miracle. I can't, as I'm reading it, I'm thinking, how did it happen? How did they end up coming together? Because there was so much division. But all of these things did come together, and our nation was born, and it's a blessing. Today, um, I want to take my eyes off of Philippians for a day, because this is a special holiday, and I want to think about it. And So I wanted to share with you a relevant story from Jesus' life, one that you're all familiar with. You know, the Pharisees tried to trap Jesus, we know, by coming to him and saying, should we pay our taxes to Caesar? And Jesus, you know, he of course gives a reply that doesn't allow them to catch him the way they would like. In Matthew 22, 19 through 21, he says this. He says, show me the coin for paying tax. And they brought him a denarius, and he asked them, whose image is on this? And whose inscription? Caesar's, they replied. And then he said to them, give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and give to God what is God's. It's a very important question he asks. Whose image is this? Whose image is on the coin? You know, putting your image on a thing, bearing the image of something else, it denotes ownership. It denotes possession. And since, G, uh, excuse me, since Caesar put his image on these coins, Jesus is saying they, they belong to him. They're of his world. They're of his authority. So go ahead. They are meant to bring him honor and tribute. So give that honor and tribute to Caesar. Go ahead and give those coins to Caesar. But they couldn't have helped to notice the implication of Jesus' words. Because they are all good Jews, they are Pharisees, and they know that we are created in the image of God. God has stamped his image on us. So when he says whose image is there, he's, he's also reminding them whose image is on you. Anything that bears God's image as well should be used to honor him and his kingdom. So it's not a matter of should we pay taxes to Caesar, giving him the coins that already belong to him, the things that his image are imprinted on, he's saying, you have forgotten to honor God. You have forgotten to give him the thing which bears his image, which is your heart and your life. You know, July 4th is a great day to celebrate independence. I hope you had a great time. I hope you had sparklers and fireworks and barbecues and all the fun things that go along with the 4th of July. It's a great day to consider what the cost of securing our freedom was and the courage of those who died for our rights. But when we give honor as appropriately to anyone or anything in this world, when we celebrate any event that has taken place in, in this world, it should also trigger our minds to remember to give honor and glory to God first for the spiritual freedom that he has provided for us, to consider the cost and the sacrifice that he paid in the life of his son, Jesus Christ, the divine courage and strength it took to stand up to all the forces of evil in the world, the spiritual forces of the darkness of the powers of the air, to break open the gates of hell and Hades itself in order to accomplish this for us. Jesus is saying, look, it's all right to give tribute. It's all right to give honor in this world to things that belong in this world. But we must not neglect to give unto God the glory that belongs to him. So folks, may God preserve our nation and keep us strong. May he guide us and help us to find the right path through this difficult time.
May we celebrate with joy our freedoms and our liberties, but may we never forget to celebrate with joy the God who provided those freedoms to us. And may we honor him in everything we do and everything we say. God bless you, and again, happy 4th of July.